Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how was your day? I'm not clean. No, it's bad. What about you? Well, here still will riot. <laughs> but tomorrow I will drive I will try to drive my my son to school. He was receiving his classes online because uh, normally without traffic jams I can get in 10 minutes to his school but when there is traffic jam I can spend an hour or two trying to get there so that's why I don't like riots <laughs> Oh, it's a long time. Yes. So, but I, tomorrow I will try to go earlier in order to be there before they get the, the, the control of, this, of the highway. Because here I have two highways in order to get to his school. One is the Panamericana and the other one is uh, La Chorrera, Panama. No, La Chorrera, Arraifan. So let's see what is happening tomorrow. What I don't like is that we don't have even food. And when I mean no food is no food. That is a sad situation. Yes. Yes. Thank God my brother has gone to the supermarket. Two or three days before they got the things worse. But at that time, he couldn't find most of the vegetables. And still, we don't have most of the vegetables. But let's see. At least I have spinach there. <laughs> like a Popeye. <laughs> yes. <laughs> even even the scrambled eggs, I made them with with spinach. Well, it's time to start classes. Yes. Let's see. Anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new, okay? Anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. Good. What can you say about this? Do you agree or are you in disagreement? Well, in my point of view, I am totally agree because if uh, we want to shape our goals or something like that, we need to try and do something and not only use the state down and use doing nothing. Okay, thank you. 
Someone else? No? Okay. Now, by the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of good in questions and answers. Then we have here, would you like to go out on Friday? Uh, the, the would you like is a classical expression in, in English. Would you like is uh, we use it when we are uh, offering, okay? Then we can say yes, or we can say no. In, in this case, it is yes, I good. Yes, I love to, thanks. Yes, I really like to go. That I'd, I'd love or I'd like is I good, I good like. That, that, uh, that contraction is I good, I good love and I good like. Uh, I good love is like stronger than like. Okay, it's like, I good like, me, me gustaría. En I good love, me encantaría. O, sí, me encantaría. Now, would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Those are ways to uh, politely say no, okay? I'd like to, me gustaría, but I have to work late, pero tengo que trabajar tarde. I'd like to, me gustaría, but I need to save money, pero tengo que ahorrar dinero. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Me gustaría, pero tengo que visitar, o quiero visitar a mis padres. Sí, tal vez en el mismo día. Ok. Now, repeat after me. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I love to. Yes, I love to. Thanks. 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 Este, thanks. A propósito del thanks, este, cuando se dice solo thanks, así se deja, thanks. Y cuando usted dice thank, a ese le puedo agregar you. Thank you. Okay. O sea, sin ese se le agrega el you, pero con ese no necesita agregarle you. Ok. Solo queda thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Yes, yes, I really, yes, like, to I really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I had to work late. I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I like, I like to say my I like to, but I want to visit my parents. I like to visit my parents. I I equals I good. I good. I good. Equals I good. Equal. Okay. Structure for accepting an invitation. Subject plus good plus verb plus two plus verb. The first verb is like or love. Okay. And then the other verb is uh, the main verb. 
For example, I would like to go. I would like to listen. I would like to eat. Okay. Now, I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. Structure for refusing an invitation. Subject plus good plus verb plus to plus verb. But plus and what happened, okay? For example, I, yes? Eh, ¿Y cuál es la diferencia entre love y like? Para usarlo. Eh, like es me gustaría y love es me encantaría. Casi es lo mismo. Okay. I love to go to her new house, but I can't. I love to go to her house, new house, but I can't. But I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. Now, the knowledge check. ¿Se está viendo la plataforma? Yes. 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 Ok. Now, good bear plus two plus bear. Read the following invitations and select the best response. Ok. And repeat after me. I have tickets. I have, I have tickets, tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. To the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Would you like to go? Now, what is the best answer? Yes, I am or yes, I love to? Yes, I love to. Okay. Yes, I love you. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Would you like to go? Would you like to come, come over dinner tomorrow night? Would you like to come for dinner tomorrow night? Okay. I like. But have to? Have to work late. To work late, like okay. To. Thank you. Now, would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Yes. What is the best answer? Yes, I really like to go. The first. Okay. Now, would you like to go? Here is missing a two. Would you like to go to a soccer match next Sunday? Would you like to go to a soccer match next Sunday? What is the best answer? Yes, I would love to. Thank you. Okay, now, would you like 
to watch a movie on Friday night? Would you like to watch a movie on Friday night? I like I like to, but, but I have to work. work. Uh -huh. But I have to work. Have to work. Me falta el to. I like to work. Okay. Okay. Now, everybody has it? Yes. Okay. Uh, Rafael, could you read number one, please? I have ticket to the basketball game on Saturday. Would you like go to, go, like go to? No. Would you like to go? Would you like to go? Okay. Yes. And what about uh, the game? What is the game? You say something that it was not. The game. ¿A qué juego lo está invitando? Baseball. Baseball. ¿Y el que dijo? Yes, I know. <laughs> okay, you have to read what is there, okay? Now, uh, the answer, please. I yes, I love to. Okay, now Elizabeth, read number two. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow now, night? Okay, and the answer? I like to, but I have a meeting. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, Lorena Reyes. Okay. Would you like to, to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Yes, I'd really like to go. Okay, thank you. Now, um, Edwin Lopez. Yes, it's uh, number three. Number four. Oh. Would you like to go a uh, soccer match next Sunday? The yes. Yes, yes, I, I love, it. love it. No. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now Kevin. Uh, Number five. Like to watch? Uh huh. Would you like to watch a movie on Friday night? Okay. He'd like to, but I have to work. Okay. Thank you very much. I guess I'm not going to Okay, let's see. Continue with the class. Okay. In this lesson, participants will read an article about the singer. A scanning for important information will be developed. Okay. Now. This is the reading. First, just follow the reading and then we will repeat, okay? So far, uh, Cristina Aguilera, so far she has multiple hit singers. 
singles. She has fans of all ages around the world. And many people say she is the best singer of her generation. She is Cristina Aguilera. Here are some highlights of Cristina's life and career. 1980, Cristina is born on December 18 in New York. 1988, Cristina first appears on television in Star Search, a television talent show. 1992, Cristina is on TV in Disney's new Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. 1994, Cristina records All I Wanna Do with Keiso Nakanishi, a Japanese pop star. She tours Japan. 1998, Cristina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. 1999, Cristina has her first big hit, Genie in a Bottle. 2001, along with other singers, Cristina records Lady Marmalade for the movie Moulin Rouge. 2002, Cristina performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. 2004, Cristina wins the Best Female Pop Vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful. Overall, Cristina Aguilera is a thriller by her success. It's been quite a roller coaster ride, she laughed. I simply love my job. So do all Christina's fans, okay? Now, listen and repeat. So far, she has multiple hit singles. So far, so far, she has multiple singers. She has fans of all ages. She has fans of all ages. Around the world. Around the world. Around the world. And many people say she is the best singer of her generation. And many people say she is the best singer of this generation. She is Cristina Aguilera. She is Cristina Aguilera. Here are some highlights of Cristina's life and career. Here are some, Here are some highlights of Cristina's life and career. 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 1980. 1980. Christina is born on December 18 in New York. Christina is born on December 18 in New York. 1988. 1988. Christina first appears on television in Star Search. Christina first appears on television in Star Search. A television talent show. A television talent show. 1992. 1992. Cristina is on TV. Cristina is on TV. In Disney's 
New Mickey Mouse Club. In this name, New Mickey Mouse Club. With Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. With Britney, With Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. 1994 a Japanese pop star. A Japanese, Japanese pop star. star. She tours Japan. She tours Japan. Japan. 1998. 1998. 1998. 1998. Christina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Cristina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Disney movie Mulan. 1999. 1999. Cristina has her first big hit. Cristina has her first big hit. Ginny in a bottle. Ginny in a bottle. 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. Along with other singers. Along with all other singers. Christina Records. Christina Records. Lady Marmalade. Lady, Lady Marmalade. For the movie Moulin Rouge. For the movie Moulin Rouge. 2002. 2002. Christina performs. Christina performs. At the closing ceremonies. At the closing ceremonies. For, for the Winter Olympic Games. For the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. In Salt Lake City, Utah. 2004. 2004. Christina wins the best female. Christina wins the best. May. Pop Vocal Grammy Award. Pop Vocal Grammy Award for for beautiful. For beautiful. Overall, 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 Christina wins the best. No, overall, eh, Christina Aguilera. Christina Overall, Christina Aguilera. Aguilera. Thriller by her success. The thriller by her, her success. success. It's been quite a roller coaster ride. It's been quite a roller coaster ride. She laughs. She laughs. I simply love my job. I simply love my job. 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 So do all Christina's fans. So do all Christina fans. Okay, now. Let's see the exercise. Okay. Now, here we have to arrange by number. Read the article, then number these sentences from first to eight. Okay? 
because this is a timeline, okay? And then we have to see what happened first, okay? Christina was born. First. Okay. Vamos a ver. Yes. Yes. This is for first. She is first. born in New York. This is the first. Then, Christina first appeared on television in Star Search. Second. Okay, this is the second. Okay. Then. Christina is on TV in Disney's new Mickey Mouse Club. Okay. See, she sings at the Winter Olympic Games. She is born in the Estuvo. She wins a Grammy for Beautiful. She records a song for a Disney movie. She travels around Japan. She works with Britney Spears. This one, huh? Third. Third. Number yes. three. Okay. Then. Christina records All I Wanna Do with Keiso and tours Japan. Okay. She sings in the Winter Olympic Games. She is born in New York. She wins a Grammy for Beautiful. She records a song for Disney movie. She travels around Japan. Okay, this is the fourth. Then we have, Christina sings a song for Disney movie Mulan. Okay, that's the fifth. Disney movie. Christina has her first big hit, Ginny in a more in a bottle. Creo que esa no está. No. Ah, como una que está, she has her first successful song. Esa sería eh, six. six. Okay. Lady Mermelade, creo que esa no está. Cristina performs um, at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games. Okay, this is the seventh. Um, and then, Christina um, wins the best female pop uh, vocal gra Grammy award for beautiful, okay? She wins Grammy for beautiful, this is the eighth. Okay, let's see. It's eight. Okay, it's correct. Now, everybody has it right? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's see. Uh, the irregular list. Remember that we had the irregular list? Mm -hmm. uh, remember that we had some, some uh, affirmative uh, sentences that you have to share with your classmates? Do you remember? Yes. Las, las tienen listas? 
Yeah. Ok, entonces lo voy a poner en, en así en, en diferentes grupos para que hagamos el ejercicio. Acuérdense que usted va a decir la oración en afirmativo y le va a pedir a alguno de sus compañeros que la haga, ya sea negativa o interrogativa. ¿Verdad? Acuérdense que ustedes tenían que tenerlo tanto como cualquiera de los otros pronombres y en tercera persona de singular. ¿Ok? Este, necesitan que les ponga la estructura de cómo iban a hacer las oraciones. Yes, teacher. Ok. Ok. ¿Ya lo están viendo? No. No, 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 no lo están viendo. Pero bien. No, no sé, excelente. No. ¿No? Yes. Ok. Yes. No. Eh, repeat after me. I live in Mexico. I live in Mexico. I live in Mexico. I live in por ejemplo, Mexico. esta es una de las que tienen que tener, por ejemplo. Entonces, le va a pedir usted a su compañero que se la haga, ya sea en negativa o en interrogativa. Entonces, para poner la negativa, tiene que ser I do not live in Mexico. Y para hacer la interrogativa, do I live in Mexico? ¿Ok? okay. Si se fijan, y también en tercera persona. He goes to the stadium. He doesn't go to the stadium. Does he go to the stadium? ¿Ok? ¿Ya se acordó, Elizabeth? Sí, teacher. Es que creí que era otra tarea. No, 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 ya. no. Era, era una que ya teníamos... Como no, 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 o sea, había tenido otro material, entonces no, pero ahorita no ya aprovechando que, es, que hay suficiente tiempo, entonces lo voy a poner, ¿prefieren hacerlo eh, así en, en, en grupos pequeños o prefieren hacerlo aquí en, en grande? Grupos pequeños mejor. ¿Verdad que sí? Así trabajan más, más, más. Más rápido, más, eh, o sea, hay más interacción. Ok, entonces ahorita. Son. ¿Quieren equipos de tres o de cuatro? Por group. Ok. Ok. Ok, you may go to your groups. Ana Margarita, no se puede unir al grupo. No, no, no me ha llegado el enlace. Pero ya Rafa ya entró. Solo Luis y usted falta.
Okay. Do we? No puede ingresar, Luis. Ok. <laughs> ok. Let me listen to you. Doris, su oración. Okay. Uh, she buys the dress in negative form. Okay. She buys. She buys a dress. Remember, third person singular. ¿Y quién va a querer que se lo pase a negativo? Uh, Elisa. Okay. She doesn't buy a dress. Excellent. Now you you read your your sentence and ask somebody to change it. Okay. Okay. Y Catherine, mira, este tema. Ah, es que yo estaba esperando que usted dijera su... Ah, mi oración. Y luego, ajá, y luego me dijera cómo era. <risa> She begins ballet classes in the National Dance School. En negative, no, interrogativo. Me la repite, no se me quedó toda. Sí, que está larguita. Sí. She begins ballet class. Uh -huh. Hasta ahí. Me dijo en negativa, ¿verdad? No, no interrogativa. Ah. Ok. Este, does she begin ballet class? Classical yeah. ballet sería. Classical ah, ballet. Classical ballet. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. Continue that way, okay? Among all of you. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Bye. Ahora la... La suya. Nos ha venido a ver, quizá. Sí, <risa> quiero oírlos. <risa> es que no encontrábamos los verbos, teacher. Yo le digo que a mí me dieron el verbo could, del otro día no me acuerdo realmente cuál era. Permítame. El, el, el 11 y el 12, pero el otro. Ah, el do me dio también, ya me acordé. Ah, pues entonces sería do y could. Good y do, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Entonces estamos así haciendo la primera oración que me sugería ahí mi compañera también, que decía, I could a page of papers. Esa sería como afirmativa. Corto una página de papel. Y la negativa sería, I do, I do not. Could. Ajá. Uh -huh. I don't know. Could. Lo de mamá. I, I pay for paper. Ma, entonces era could y tú. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Pero la negativa, si, si yo pongo como afirmativa, I could a paper. No, page I, of paper. I could a paper. Entonces sería, I don't cook a paper, pero quien se lo tiene que hacer negativo es su compañero. Entonces solo tiene ah. que hacer las afirmativas y ah. preguntar y pedirles a sus compañeros que se lo hagan en negativo e interrogativo. Entonces faltaría la, 
la interrogativa. Ellas la tienen que hacer. Ajá. No sé. La interrogativa sería como, do I cut a piece of paper? Yes. That's the way. Do I, do I, I, I cut I a piece of paper? Uh -huh. Bye. Eso es con el verbo cut. No sé, algo otro que tenían los compañeros. No sé. El do, ese me cuesta para formular porque casi siempre se usa como auxiliar y se usa como verbo. Ajá, se ocupa. Ajá, ajá, eh, eh, se tiene que hacerlo ambas. O sea, sería, eh, I do my homework, ¿verdad? Entonces, I don't do my homework. I do, do I do my homework? Ah, entonces sería yo eh, hago como trabajo en casa. Mi, mi tarea, ajá, homework, tarea. Homework. Ajá, I do my homework. I, I do don't my do my homework, do I do my homework. Y en, y en tercera persona sería, she does her homework. She doesn't do her homework. Does she do her homework? Mm -hmm. ¿Y las otras, sus, sus verbos, cuáles eran? Los míos eran forgive y yet. Ajá, ¿y ya tiene hechas las oraciones? Sí, por ejemplo, you forgive with your boyfriend, sería afirmativo. Ok, ¿y a quién, a quién le va a pedir que se la, que se la convierta en negativa? A Sofía. Ok, Sofía. Repeat the affirmative. Okay. You forgive your with your boyfriend. You, you forgive your boyfriend. Forget your boyfriend. The boyfriend. Ok. Um, sería. ¿La tiene you... negativa o interrogativa? Negativa. Negativa, ajá. You don't not forget the, your boyfriend? Forget, forgive. Forgive. Ah, es que forget es, per, es olvidar y forgive uh -huh. es perdonar. Ah, ok. O sea, forgive uh -huh. es perdonar y forget es olvidar. Ok, you don't not forgive uh, your, your boyfriend? Uh -huh. sí. vale, entonces ¿En ahora, usted, ahora usted lee una de, su, una de sus oraciones en afirmativo y le okay. pide a otra de sus compañeras que haga el negativo o el interrogativo. Ah, ok. Eh, sería, eh, she eats cereal for breakfast. She eats yes. cereal for breakfast. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Um, ¿Y a quién va a querer que se lo haga y, y cómo? ¿Interrogativo o, neg o negativo? Interrogativo eh, eh, Emma. Ok. Ok, interrogativo sería Does she eat cereal of breakfast? For breakfast. Does she eat Cereal for breakfast, excellent. Uh -huh. ¿Quién va a querer? Eh, va, hoy lea la, una de las suyas y le, y le pide a alguien que se la que sí, se la transforme. Pasa la negativa que, de esa. Uh -huh. Yo fui la que había escogido antes a Sofía, no sé si puedo repetirlo o las otras compañeras. She does Consiga otra. Sí, no importa. O otra porque ya ella ya participó. Entonces, ¿Sería Lorena? Yes, tell me your sentence. Uh, 
we get a new house? Sorry? We get a new house. Okay, in a firm, in, in sorry, in negative, negative or in negative. Um, we need is, right? Uh, we, we get, we, we get, we, sorry, sorry, we, we don't get a new house. ¿Cuál es su, 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 el verbo que está usando? Get. Ah, get, ok. We get a new house. Y, 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 y a, a, a quién le va a pedir que se lo haga, ya sea interrogativo o negativo? Lo estaba haciendo Lorena. Ok. I don't know if I'm right, but he'll be we can get a new house. Okay, we don't get a new house. Okay. Me, entonces, ahora usted lea su propia oración. Cual, escoja cualquiera de las... Tenían cuatro oraciones cada uno. Entonces, yes. escoja cualquiera de las otras y escoja cualquiera de sus compañeras para que se la haga, ya sea negativa o interrogativa. Eh, ustedes continúan trabajando así entre ustedes mismas se hacen preguntas o sea, las hacen ya sea negativas o interrogativas de esas cuatro que ustedes tenían ok y yo voy a ir a ver otros compañeros a ver cómo están trabajando lo están haciendo bien ok ok, okay. gracias Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. How are you working here? Let me listen to you. Okay. Um, si quiere cada uno que mandó la, la oración, le cada, cada uno su oración. Nosotros contestamos en negativo y en pregunta. Okay. Sí, así es, pero, eh, o sea, tienen que interactuar ahí. Yes. Okay. Okay. I, I pay for the food. Okay, in negative, sería, I don't pay for the food. For food. In the question. No, no, este, usted tiene que hacer solo la afirmativa y pedirle a alguno de sus compañeros que se la hagan negativa o interrogativa. Okay. Okay. I pay for the food. Okay. Now, uh, a, 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 quién, a quién le va a pedir? Okay. Andrea. Okay. In negative, I don't pay for the food. Okay. Yeah. Entonces ahora, Andrea eh, lee una de sus afirmativas y le pide a alguien más que la haga, ya sea interrogativa o negativa, y esa persona cuando lo haga, va a leer su propia oración. Y va a decir okay. a alguien más que, tra que trabaja. Ok. I live in Salvador. Kevin, tell me that sentence in negative form. I don't live in El Salvador. Ok, ahora usted lee una de las suyas. Y le pide a alguien que se la haga, ya sea negativa o interrogativa. Mm, she has a guitar. Y Mónica, eh, eh, buena interrogativa. Ok. Bye, 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 bye. Eh, das... Does 
she has a guitar. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, now you read your own sentence and ask somebody. Okay. Carmen, um, she put music on her cell phone. La quiere? Negativa? Uh -huh. ¿Y a quién pregunta? le va a decir? ¿A quién le va a decir que la, que la haga? Carmen. Vaya. She doesn't put music on her cell phone. Yeah. Okay. Now, you read your affirmative sentence. Uh, my sister find her blouse. Uh -huh. Blouse. Blouse. My sister finds her blouse. Okay. Mm, negative. Jancy? Jancy, ponga ser en negativo. Okay. You said. Um, uh, you said my sister find her blouse. Her blouse. Sí. Okay. Sería. Y se, se la está pidiendo en negativa. Okay. My sister doesn't find her blouse. Okay. Okay. okay ahora yo digo la mía. Sería. Uh -huh. <clears throat> she. No, perdón. He goes to the party today. Okay. And um, let's see, Monica, in question. Okay. Uh, he doesn't go to the party today. Vuelva a repetir. He doesn't go to the party today. Ajá. Acuérdese que cuando ya está en negativa o interrogativa. El verbo principal queda en su go. forma simple. Excellent. Go. He Do doesn't again. go to the party today. Excellent. Okay. Now I will go, uh, continue that way. I will go to see another group. Thank you. Continue. Uh, okay, okay, teacher. Sure. About, about of science. Sí. Ajá, así quedaría. Ah. Es, y el signo de interrogación al final. Muy bien. Ahí está. Como estamos en lo de la regla esa. ¿no? Ahí estaría bueno, ya. Sí. Ajá. Vale, este, bueno, ya está. Algunos. Ustedes, este, ¿alguien de ustedes tiene que leerla en afirmativa? Su oración y pedirle a, al otro compañero que se la pase a negativa o a interrogativa. Cuando lo haga el compañero, entonces este, pasa a leer una de sus afirmativas y a decirle a otro compañero que la haga ya sea negativa o interrogativa. Quiero escucharlos interactuar. Um, I need know about of science. Esa es la afirmativa. Sí. I need The know I need about to know. About I need to know. 
Ah. ¿Cuál, cuál, es, ¿Cuál es su verbo? ¿Need or no? Este, de, que en español sería conocer. Ajá, entonces no, 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 no ponga vale. need, porque need es verbo sí. también. Entonces usted diga, I know. About. I know mm. about science. Entonces, I know about science. O en tercera persona, she knows about science. ¿Verdad? Y entonces le pide a sus compañeros que se la hagan, ya sea negativa o interrogativa. ¿A quién le va a pedir que se lo hagan? Este, ahorita solo va a listar. Entonces sería I or she. ¿Cuál ocuparía? El, el de I. Ok, I know about science. ¿Y quién quiere que se lo transforme? Eh, que sea la compañera Sandra. Ok, Sandrita. Eh, ¿Negativa? Eh, sí. I, va a ser, I do not abide science. Ok, excelente. Ahora va. Eh, he got, he got, no, he got to school. Esa he, go, he goes to school. ¿Y a quién le va a pedir que se la transforme? A Rafael. Ok. He doesn't. He doesn't not to school. He doesn't go. He doesn't go to school. Okay, excellent. Now, read one of yours. Lea um, una de las suyas. Una de las mías. Sí. We are good friends. We are good friends. ¿Y quién quiere que se la transforme? ¿Quién falta? ¿Quién está con nosotros? Está Sandra, está Ana Margarita. No sé. ¿A Sandra? ¿Negativa o interrogativa? We do not Negativa. We do not are Good friend. Good friend. No, es we are not. Acuérdese que el verbo to be no necesita del auxiliar do. We are not good friends. Ok, excelente. Bueno, ya terminamos la clase. Este, si, si quedaron pendientes ahí, déjenlo siempre porque cuando tengamos tiempo vamos a volver a hacer el, 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 la actividad. Entonces ahorita este, voy a terminar los break rooms para que lleguemos a despedirnos en la en el salón. Okay. 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 Okay, do you like the activity? Do you enjoy yes. the activity? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Uh, remember to have those those sentences there because anytime when we have a uh, time, we will we will spend it doing this exercise. Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, teacher. Bye bye. bye, bye. Remember bye. to continue bye. with the platform. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye.